Welcome to Primaris gave us the Fimstones. Now, this is not so much a uh, hoo hoo gotcha type thing, but I'm going to give you a really quick version of this. The underlining argument that connects both of these, uh, well, I'm going to just call them what they are, retcons of a manner, or alterations if you prefer to the setting, are effectively the same. One will naturally come from the other. And in this case, the Primaris were really the first opening of the door to altering in all ways the very foundations of the setting and is what we innately got the Femstotes because of and will probably in time get female Primaris amongst other alterations they will make. That is the uh, the short version, so you can congratulate yourselves if you only wanted to hear that much, so you could go into the comment section and tell me I'm stupid, and that's fine. I'll see you there. For everybody else, the long and more context-ridden version of this is a very simple thing. A few days back, my brother had been uh, talking to me, and I had been throwing around a couple... Uh, theories on a vi couple videos I was doing and what I thought was going to happen in 40k as a whole and I had a realization when we the topic turned to a recent ish uh, northern exile video where he was talking about a rant it was a rant about thim studs and he had made some things where it said it didn't matter what GW said or put out as lore because their their writing was garbage anyways and had been garbage for about 20 years. I agree with him there. But it made me think of something and it came down to the the context of where did we get uh, how did we get to this point? And that is very simple. It's called the Primaris, the Gathering Storm, the return of a Primark and the kind of lame return of Lionel Johnson. Yeah, he, he can walk in forest, brah. It's so exciting and boring as hell. And the effects, if we remove our own personal likes, desires, wants, and political leanings, I think we can all agree that the Primaris introduction altered the very context and foundations of Warhammer 40k and effectively removed it from being a grim dark setting to one where there's progress and change and all of these kind of things so at the very end the exact arguments used to defend the Primaris are the exact arguments that will be there to defend every other alteration that has gone on since their introduction they cannot be separated from what has come after them because when you change a massive amount of the lore a foundational part of it like you did with the Primaris then it is very very hard to resist changes in other elements of the game there is really not a lot of ways to put it but to uh, say have you guys ever played with a slinky we all know what a slinky is it's a spring Ace Ventura loved him, just, just to point that out. But let's put that into context. Let's say the Slinky represents the introduction of a Primaris, or the Primaris as a concept, the Gathering Storm, and all that. So, the foundational argument, which I hope somebody had at least made this argument before it all got published by some idiot fanboy, but I think this is how it should have gone. The guy at the very top of the stairs standing with Slinky not in motion saying, Hey, I think it'd be a bad idea to put this in motion because the Slinky can only ever, without direct intervention which will cause trouble, go to the bottom of the stairs. It will always go there. It will never go less than there. And then you had the guy on the first step going, and we'll say he's the Primaris guy. Well, I think it's fine if the Slinky goes down to the first step, but no further. And then you have the person behind them that said, Well, I think it can go down to the second step, and it's fine, just as long as it's not any further than that. And on and on and on. Till the point where the Slinky is at the bottom of the stairs. 
to the point where 40k is more about window dressing than it is about anything else where you have plain poster boys that are easily marketable because they don't really have much going on for them in character and every alteration you can for a wider more modern air quote audience while you try to pilfer as many people's wallets as you can so the argument ends up being at the very base my alteration good your alteration bad whereas the original argument for anyone who actually cares about the setting should be None of these alterations sound like a good thing for the setting and therefore the longevity of the setting. You're changing it and that will have impacts if you should consider those impacts in the long term. And then GW shit the bed and then rolled in it. And this is I think where the problem is. So if you'll pardon me, the same people who are trying to resist the... I'm not sure what they refer to it as, the wokeification of Warhammer, who are also then turning around and defending the Primaris as an addition, do not understand that it's the very thing that they're supportive of that gave us everything else. Now, this is not a personal attack. I personally have no problem with people who like it, and... that's not really one of the things I'm going for. I just want to point out that these... Two things are inextricably connected. They cannot be unconnected unless you go to some real severe and twisted manners of doing it. And that would still not work. The only way to resolve all of these issues that some people are voicing about the alterations to 40k is to remove the primaris. Because you remove everything else with it. There would be no base argument for any of these other alterations without them and that's not going to happen i'm going to point that out nothing is going to be done in that direction what you will see is 40k continued to be twisted and turned and turned into more of window dressing for marketing and 30k to get pushed further and further away and them to act like they're completely different things to the point where you'll start seeing the alterations in 30k just to accommodate those divides so it's a bit of a, an odd one uh, but I figured I would talk about this for a moment and how I saw the pointlessness to a couple of videos I was going to make because there's really no fixing this without pissing a lot of people off and you just have to kind of accept that that grandma's declining grandma's not gonna get better and you had your your good times you should remember those and probably move on and that's kind of where I am I will be talking about Lieber Badab in the future and a couple other things because I see the long Disney-esque death march of 40k coming in the future and I don't think it's going to get better from here now that's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing but we have to accept that at the end of the day that the arguments for one change generally have to be applied to every other change and if that one change is argument can't apply to the others, then it wasn't a good change to begin with. And, you know, th that sucks. Do I want to see people's collections invalidated? Hell no. Do I want to see Games Workshop do better? Yeah. But they would have to hire someone who actually cares. Someone who actually had the talent to turn this into something other than what it is and if people really want to hear how I would have handled a lot of this or how I would take charge of it now and try to correct this boat before it gets worse in the long run let me know go hey idiot tell me about those things and I'll watch it and I'll I'll do it because I'm an idiot so hopefully that kind of explains my position on this and I think it helps at least make more sense to people so that they can re-examine the arguments they're using against the inclusion of Femstodes 
and come up with better ones. Because right now, you don't have a grim nor dark setting. You don't really have 40k, you have a Warhammer-esque setting that relies heavily on window dressing. And that's why you're getting like, hey guys, now you've got the Primaris Stern Guard and here's the revamped Terminators when it really should have just been here two revamped units from the original things. Hey, that's great. We can have both and the and they'll work together. Huzzah. But that's not how it is. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.